So yeah, I've got conference withdrawal. So hey everybody, um, it has been a week since the conference ended, um, and it's been a weirdly emotional week. Um, Rachel and I talked about this, I touched on it just a little bit in the video last week. Um, it's, I've been feeling weird all week, um, and it took me, um, meant to figure out what was going on and and I guess basically just think I'm missing being at the conference last week um, and as the week's gone on a couple other content creators um, podcasts people on Instagram people on, on YouTube have commented the same thing that um, after the conference there's this weird kind of crash I guess you can equate to like the anticipation before like Christmas or like a wedding or some other big event that you've got going on in your life and you're like really amped up it's coming and you're really excited and then it happens and you're happy while it's going on and then it's suddenly just over and you don't quite know what to do with that and that's kind of where I've been this week there's like a base level normal and then like you go to the conference and then there's like this high from being around um, everybody else and just being with your people. Um, and then when you come back down to your normal, it's it feels like you're losing something. Um, and you know, my one um, friend on, on Instagram um, during a, a live stream the other day said that, you know, if you haven't been in the conference, you have to go, you have to go home. Because it's that's exactly what it is. It's like going and having a giant family reunion, but then it's over, and then everything's kind of back to normal. So we're trying to figure out what to do with that. Um, on the one hand, I'm back to kind of business as usual with most of my life, but at the same time, I still do have this surgery coming up. And it's kind of always like in the back of my mind that um, there's this ever-present thing that's kind of just over the horizon. And the thing is, I don't know what it is. I have no idea. Um, I've got another consult um, in a few weeks. I'm going to go back up to Newark and meet with the team at Rutgers again um, on the 20th for... Um, should be my final consult, we'll see. And then hopefully I'll get scheduled for a surgery day. I, and, you know, this week was really great in that I finally broke below 270. And I've stayed there all week. Um, I'm so close. I'm so close to just be under that 20 pound mark that I have to hit in order to to be able to have my surgery. And of course, again, not that I'm going to stop there. I'm going to keep doing what I can to lose weight. And one of the issues I've been having lately is my schedule's been all over the place. Because um, as I said before, I started a new job. So the sequels here are really like insistently loud. I don't know if you've ever been in the Jersey Shore, but it's kind of obnoxious just an FYI. So, I mean, now I have a slightly more consistent schedule for the month, so I can try to do a better job of planning, you know, my workouts, but it's motivating to realize that I'm so close to being where I need to be. That little bit of motivation is giving me something to look forward to, because the conference is a weird thing in that it can simultaneously make you feel 
euphoric in some in that you are around other people like you you're meeting other people you're um, feeling very validated but you can't help but compare yourself to other people it's just if you can more power to you there's uh, for me at least a little part of my brain that's like very conscious of the fact that everybody around me knows that I'm trans. Everybody in that area of Philly who sees people walking in and out of the convention center that knows what's going on is like, oh yeah, these are trans people. That also kind of makes me feel slightly dysphoric. Maybe it's just me, I don't know. Um, because it makes me kind of, you know, reflect and have to think about my identity a little bit. And it's not something that I necessarily do every day, but when it's kind of front and center, that happens. So, I've been in a little bit of a fun. Not that this is a sad video, because it's not. When I talked to Kath at the Gender Rebels table, she was like, I love your videos, they're always so happy. Except for when you're sad. I'm not being sad. It just is what it is. So, the one thing I will say is that coming down from that conference high really kind of motivates you to want to go next year. I'm looking forward to next year, and hopefully it'll be even better than this year was. In the meantime, I'm going to work hard to focus on some other positives. I'm getting close to where I need to be with my health. I'm getting closer to that date. And that makes me happy. That's what I've got going on. What's going on with your weight loss journey? Did you go to the conference? Let me know. I really want to hear other people's perspective, other people's stories, if you were there. Like, share, subscribe, do all the normal things. You know. Until then, I'll see you around.